Ice training is important because it helps us get our time down, it builds morale, it builds uh, repetition, increases skills, hone skills, and so in a deployment situation, we're not uh, lost in what we're doing. We need good crews, um, and so we find out who's best within the platoons, and we assign them to certain sections, such as EEP, who preps and prepares the trucks to come down here. We have a shore crew who drops and retrieves our loads, and then we have our boat operators who pick up and go out, and then we have build crew who is retrieving those loads as they come and then putting them together. So each one requires a certain set of skills. You know, you want some strong folks, some heavy lifters for pulling in the loads because they're 13,000 pounds of loaf. Um, so we did two kinds of wet grab crossing today. Uh, we did a seven float and a full closure. Um, so a seven float is five base, two ramps. Um, we built that, we loaded up two CBTs, which is our truck equipment. We uh, rafted that from one slip across the pond to the second slip and loaded off those two trucks as anchors, broke that seven float up, so the ramp went to the other side of the near shore, and therefore that allowed us to start building our two rafts for the full closure that thus become one raft. But it's great to get training with the other platoon to work with each other, to work out kinks, and become a better company and stronger. So I will be, for 497, I'm the second platoon sergeant, and we were in charge of different couple phases, starting with the EEP, that's the engineer equipment park, and also with a first initial raft. The first initial raft is used in order to be able to cross the first gun vehicles and, gun, and the gun power to the far side. They may or may not be unsecure. We also utilize the Zodiac. That would be pretty much the small to be able to control light infantry elements. So once the raft is built and we raft our vehicles, we initiate the full enclosure process. What was really amazing to me was the new talent. When I saw these new soldiers that come straight from AIT, or they never been able to build, and I was able to speed, uh, see their, spot their potential, it was definitely eye-opening, because those that actually hide, they end up shining today. I uh, saw so a lot of new talent, a lot of new skills, and a lot, a lot, a lot, and a lot of progression when it comes for them self-development. This is the fun part where people get to see and get to see what they accomplish. Because in the Army, a lot of jobs, you do the job on the regular basis, but you don't see the product. But once you build this bridge, you get to see what happened, what you build with your own hands and your own sweat. So it's really productive for us.